guys, okay, so I am getting ready to go out tonight and I'm going to do one of my go-to hairstyles that's super, super easy to do, but it kind of looks like you've gone and got it done professionally. <laughs> so it's a really easy textured updo. So there's nothing like super neat about it or anything like that and that's why it's easy because you can kind of play with it yourself and it's quite messy and textured so you can just do your own thing with it but I'll show you the basic steps of how to do it. So to kick it off I'm just going to divide my hair into two sections like the top and bottom and pin the top bit away. Now I've just got this bottom half of my hair out and I'm gonna just put that into a low little bun. Now because my hair is freshly washed it's actually a little bit too soft for this hairstyle I do want it to be a bit gritty or like day old hair so I'm gonna use some of this volumizing powder to just add a little bit of traction and grit to it. Drop that right on there. Smush it all up and then just use a big kind of loose brush to put a bit of a tease into it. Now I'm just gonna take that big piece of ponytail and twist it around into a bun. Now to secure that low bun, I'm just gonna put a couple of bobby pins in. And you know what I learned the other day? I never realized this, but apparently the correct way to put in a bobby pin is not to like open it up. You're meant to just slip it on in there and this little zigzaggy section is meant to go towards the scalp. So, I think we've all been doing this wrong. I don't know, I have. <laughs> I guess it just means if they go in flat rather than separated, they're never gonna slide on out. So now I've got my bun feeling nice and secure and I'm going to start working on this top section here. So that falls down just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing and add a little bit of texture into this because it's just too soft to be holding to this hairstyle. So, a little bit of texture powder towards the roots. Now I'm going to separate this top, top section so as I said, it's totally fine if this is not accurate parting or anything. And what I'm going to do is create some curls here, which are gonna make our hairstyle nice and textured and messy. So I'm gonna do it with a GHD straightening iron, just because that gives me the opportunity to make each curl a little bit different. Some of them can be tighter, looser, because I don't want it to look like perfect ringlets all around my head. And always curl to the back. All right, so that looks like a super weird hairstyle right now, but what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of a spritz of hairspray in there. So this is just a Schwarzkopf Stronghold hairspray, and I'm gonna let that sit and chill out for a little minute. Now, with the top bit, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing as what I did with this section. So I'm gonna part it somewhere in the middle. If you prefer a side part, that is totally up to you. and I'll part that into a three different sections and just curl them to the back again. With these ones, as you can see, I'm trying to go a little bit looser because these front pieces I'm going to leave out. So I want them to frame my face in a nice way. And same thing with the other side. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of sort of random curls here and it really doesn't matter that they're not equal because I really don't want them to be. So I'm just going to run my fingers through that a little bit to mess it up and separate them. And now what I'm going to do is start teasing from the back. So I'll twist around to show you what I'm doing. I'm going to take a spritz of hairspray towards the root and just tease up a bit. I know this looks crazy right now, but we want a lot of volume towards the back here, so just bear with me. Have faith. Okay. 
And now, when you have this <laughs> hair going on, you want to start grabbing sections and pinning them to your bun. So, I'm going to start with the back here. So I want to keep it pretty messy, so I'm going to keep all these little bits hanging out that you can see there that's starting to come together in a really nice messy updo. Let's work on the other side. So you just kind of keep pinning the pieces wherever you'd like to push them up and then pulling out the little bits that you want falling around your face. I think that is starting to look pretty alright. And then whenever you think you're happy with it, just give your head a nice big spritz of hairspray to keep it all securely in place. So there you have it. This is my super easy textured updo. It's one of my go-to hairstyles for when I'm going to nicer events. I've worn it several times. One time I put a whole bunch of big flowers in here for like a Halloween dress up type event. And then another time I wore it to the races with some drop earrings, which took it to a whole new level of class. And I really think that there's an element of sophistication to this look while still being, you know, messy and playful and a bit frivolous and fun. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I am sure it's easy enough for all of us to pull off because that's what I do. <laughs> um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.